Welcome to Electro Online. Now we have a glass rod in air. We have a very small curvature radius. It is positive because the curve is to the left. And notice that the object is basically a point object, a distance of 8 centimeters away from the boundary. We're going to first of all find out where the image is going to be located, and secondly, what the magnification of that is going to be. So to do that, we again use our same equation. Remember that N1 is on the same side as where the object is, N2 is on the side where we presume the image is going to be if the image is on the other side of the boundary. So plug in everything into the equation. We have N1 over S. N1 is going to be 1 divided by S, which is 8, is going to be added to N2, which is 1.5 over S prime. And that's going to be equal to N2 minus N1, which is 1.5 minus 1, divided by the radius of curvature, a positive 2. Notice eventually we're also going to find the magnification of that image. Moving this to the other side, we end up with 1.5 over S prime is going to be equal to, that's 0 0.5 over 2 minus 1 over 8. Notice the common denominator here is going to be 8, so this becomes equal to 2 over 8 minus 1 over 8, which is equal to 1 over 8. Taking the inverse of that, S prime over 1.5 is equal to 8 over 1, or S prime is equal to 1.5 times 8, or 12 centimeters. So notice that we have an image on the other side of the boundary because the S prime distance is positive. So over here somewhere, we're going to find the image at a distance of 12 centimeters behind the boundary. Like that. And for the magnification, the equation is as follows. M is equal to minus S prime over S, as before. But here we have to take into account the indices of refraction. Over here, we're going to put in the index of refraction of the object, which is uh, where the object is at, which is 1. And at the bottom, we put 1.5. So let me go ahead and put the general equation in. So this is going to be N1 over N2. So it looks like it's reversed, but that's actually the way it's supposed to be. So this is equal to minus 1 times S prime, which is 12, divided by N2, which is 1.5, divided by 8. And notice it's going to be equal to minus 12 over 12, or the magnification is equal to minus 1. Minus simply means that it's, we have the inverse, that it's upside down, and 1 means that the, the size of the image is exactly the same as the size of the object, which is interesting since... The distance to the image is one and a half times the distance to the object, but also remember that the index, index of refraction where the image is at is 1.5 times the index of refraction where the object is at. So that kind of cancels out that ratio of S prime over S, and it turns out we have a magnification of 1. That's just a special case. That's usually not the case. And to see how that then works is we're going to put in some additional places where we place an object at various locations to see what happens to the image. Is the image always going to be on that side of the boundary? Well, we'll find out in the next video when we try some additional cases where we place the object in some different places to see what will happen. So stay tuned.